trees he grows up. What, sir? Put in the back of the scope. Yep. Strongest fault line. What, sir? Strongest fault line. What? Fucking strong line. Easy, brother. Come on, sir. All that line. Do you want your bones to do? All that. All that. Yeah. Come on, brother. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Chest done. Let's turn the exposure down to a freakier level. We'll run through a couple. <laughs> Camera's not off. Oh. How do I do your video? I don't see your progress so. I gotcha. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm not sure what'll cut to after this clip. Because I didn't we didn't drive to the gym with the video going. That's right. I bet uh I bet the next clip will be breakfast or something. No, it'll be dinner. We're gonna eat right now. Oh yeah. <sighs> You know, I wouldn't have guessed that the couch cam would be so prevalent. But whenever we gotta like Uber to the gym or whatever, the, you know, I'm not gonna suction cup the camera to the fucking the Uber window. You know, it'd be freaking nuts. So don't uh don't get too surprised by this shot. I wouldn't mind a meal right in front of me though, kinda make for something to watch, but whatever. So t this is day two now. I uh Oh my goodness. I think I'm still sleep deprived, or at least I was from the last Arnold, even though it's only been like a week. So <laughs> when we finished chest day, we, you know, got to the hotel, had some food, had like some pizza and some chicken marsala and like two cups of white rice. So I got to go to bed with a full stomach, slept all night, got up, cardio, a little bit more food, and then slept all day. So I'm a little bit underfed, which in a bulking context, not ideal. But in terms of my well-restedness, I feel nice and alert. After the, um, and it was sweet because 
I got to fly in like a, the first class part of the plane. So the seat reclined and everything. But something, I don't know if it was maybe the pressure, but I could not sleep for shit. I felt like I was, um, I mean, even though it is a bigger seat, I'm not sure they made it to accommodate a 260 pounder or a upper 250 pounder. I'm kind of still floating around right there. But yeah, in terms of the chest day, I was just talking to Fuad and Ben about this. I don't think I'm going to be able to go back to incline barbell, at least for a while. Because uh, dumbbell, here's sort of the problem that I ran into as I you know, got stronger the last few years is, you know, the gym that I go to at school, uh, it's got 150s, right? Now, I could work up to the 150s, but I'd get, I mean, 17 reps on the first set. Like, that's still within the range of, you know, an effective rep scheme, but I don't want to do the first set of my lift at a weight where I can get 17 reps. I was really hoping they'd have the 175s. I think that'd be perfect for, like, a set of 8 or 9 or something. 200s are not in the wheelhouse yet. But I'm sure that'll happen eventually. But what happened was, you know, I could do the 150s for just too many fucking reps. And I, I didn't want to deal with, like, trying to throw another dumbbell on top with, like, tape or, like, have somebody balance it. I feel like you're just really asking for trouble. So instead, I switched back to incline barbell purely so I could get more load. You know, I could literally just have more weight on the fucking bar. But, I don't know, the feeling of incline dumbbell for me... And this might just be me specifically, but I'm very prone <clears throat> to kind of this hunched over posture. And unfortunately, that translates to my pressing strength. So when I do like a hammer strength machine or incline smith machine, as much as I try to retract my shoulders as I press, and even with like pec techs too, I always, I think I probably just need to get some deep tissue massage, really stretch out and kind of open up my clavicles. That might help me. But I always get a lot of front delt. But with incline dumbbell, I feel like I can sit into the bench a little bit more. And I don't feel my shoulders taking over. Right? Doing that, those three sets that I did in the workout earlier, I was feeling all upper chest. And, I mean, I say this a bazillion times. Incline is probably your best bet for most of your chest training. Unless for whatever reason your upper chest is abnormally developed and it's outshining your lower chest. I'll, I'll go off on a little tangent here, but you gotta remember, your upper chest hardly gets worked, directly at least, you know. When you do a set of tricep pushdowns, you're gonna get some chest activation, and primarily lower mid pecs, because you're kind of you know, forcing the reps down like that. And then any kind of, well actually let me think here, any kind of, you know, tricep bias dip or eh, even some chest movements, you know, you got to sort of look at your anatomy or some back movements rather. Like when I do a set of pull downs, sometimes you can get a little bit of chest because your arm is kind of moving down here just a touch and all that's lower chest. So your lower pecs get activated all the time, even just in life. Like if I were to kind of bend over this fucking table and stand up, I'm going to push down and use my fucking lower chest. Very rarely am I sitting here pushing anything like this in my normal life, you know, so your upper chest doesn't get worked that much. And it's not like when you do incline bench, you're only activating your upper chest. The whole thing's fucking firing. I mean, you saw the fucking pump. Even if I stopped, or even if I just continued doing incline bench dumbbell and that was the only movement, and I did another, I don't know, three or so sets, getting a little bit lighter, of course, but if all I did was three more, I'd still have a complete fucking chest pump. So... I think, I'm not going to say it's going to kill you to do flat bench, I just don't really love it, uh, but, but whatever, so, fuck, what was I even about to say? Now I totally lost my train of thought. Incline, eh? Oh yeah, so, it's just, the dumbbells aren't fucking heavy enough, which, cool problem to have, of course, but it's still a problem, so part of me wants to like... And this would be kind of a hassle because when you drop the dumbbells, they'd probably clang all over the place. But if you got some strong ass magnets, you could probably stick a 10 pounder on each side. And like, you can get a little fucking magnet, it's like 50 pound holding strength. Potentially worth looking into. That's the kind of just, you know, stupid shit I end up thinking about like that. But yeah, 
good lift. And afterwards, I was completely fucking dead. I mean, earlier that day, when we actually landed and got to the hotel at like noon, we didn't go lift until like 7.30. Slept the whole fucking time. So I feel nice and rejuvenated. And now I've got two things on my agenda. One is to get a bunch of like Gatorade or lemonade or tons of you know sugary fluids into my system so I can be a little, you know, jumpstart my fullness. Because we're going to hit hamstrings. Well, we're going to lift, but I've got quads and ham ca calves, not quads, calves and hamstrings later. Uh, but yeah, so plan now is get hydrated, get well fed, go get a crazy hamstring pump, and then come back. And tomorrow's going to be the first day of the Arnold, well, the Arnold UK at least. So, word to the wise: uh, if you're, if you want to wait in line, and th this doesn't just go for me, this goes for anybody that's going to be there. If they're going to have a long line, do not feel bad running to the front of it, right? Because at the Arnold in Columbus, there were guys who, I mean, they waited, but they were in line for like four freaking hours. So again, super cool problem to have, right? It's freaking nuts. But, you know, maybe try to, if you want to see one person specifically, and you're, you, you're going to be here in Birmingham, it's going to be in your best interest to get a jump start on headed to that guy first but it'll be super cool i mean i'm sure uh i don't know exactly who's all going to be at this one because it is in terms of the guys who are you know in the states uh it may be a little more sparse lifter wise but i i guess we'll have to see so that's going to be freaking crazy but yeah good chest day i feel nice and full now time to go hit a lift so you're not going to watch that this was just chest and uh the music was freaking loud. I might have to, I'm not sure if I did or not. I haven't edited the little video yet, but I think I'm gonna have to cut some of the clips short or just mute them in their entirety uh, just because, you know, copyright will get me. But don't worry, the, uh, I think the next few videos will be a little more planned. These are kind of impromptu just cause I'm uh, been a little busy travel wise, but keep lifting. And just because I'm out of the country for everybody in the States, does not mean that I know that you're not doing your cardio. Or it doesn't mean that I don't know you're not doing it. Right? So don't worry. Well, actually, do worry. Right? I know you've been skipping. I know it. For a fact. But, I mean, if you want to stay small, that's your own deal. If anything, it's kind of strange. If my goal, um, I mean, my goal is to just get bigger in general. But if somebody's goal is to get bigger than everybody else, Maybe I should say don't do your cardio. Stay small. But that's on you. That's not on me. So do whatever you want. But make sure you lift hard. You lift heavy. Get big and strong. Yeah, it's just fun all around. So hamstrings tomorrow. And I'll probably add... I'll try to add something. But we'll see. So I'll see you next time for that.